Okay, so hello and welcome back to Story of Strategy. I nearly forgot the name. Fuck, I always do that. Anyway, um, we're back with our colony. Uh, everything's going smoothly so far, nothing too crazy to report. Um, James and Dylan are planting spuds and strawberries. Nice. Everyone else is kind of building their rooms. They'll kind of clean the bedrooms themselves. Josh and Scott are cutting trees down, which is handy. For supplying us with a steady stream of wood. And yeah, that's kind of that. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to continue to... Where is it now? I'm going to start building that storage area so we can store our food in here. So I'm going to have... Um, what's it called? Raw food here. And then maybe raw meats then back here. So this is like unbuttered bodies. That'll probably be best because I don't want them to keep keeping together. And then I can put in some doors. So a door here would be good. And a door here. And then have a door leading to the... Yeah, leading here and here. And here and here. Only because they might... Oh, fuck. Wrong area. Anyway, they might, um... What's the word? They'll need to go in and out, basically. Obviously, I'm gonna put doors here, too, but... Um... Yeah, because, basically, James, with his cooking, he'll be wasting a lot of time if he's, you know, not going through here or whatever. As in, if he has to go out here and around and in the store to get this, and then... You know what I mean? Anyway, it's kind of obvious. I don't feel like I need to explain it. But yeah, that's that. Um... Put some floors in. Oh, actually, we never put any floors in the bedroom, did we? No, but that'll... Ah, that's a lot of wood. Holy shit. Alright, that'll have to do. And actually, you know what? We'll need floors in here, too. Nice. Bam. 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 Okay, so, you need it on the doors, too, if I haven't done that. I haven't. Great, so that's even more wood that I hadn't thought of. Yeah. Wood is important, as you can tell. Early it is, anyway. Like There comes to a point where wood isn't quite as important once you have everything kind of built already. But, yeah. Um, let's think here now. What's the next thing that I want? Um, probably could do more zones, but I'll do it off-screen because they're kind of... Like, it takes a while and it's not really that entertaining. Or anything like that. Just to basically configure what's allowed in different zones. But, um, yeah. Next thing we want is a, where is it, production, is here. We need butchering tables, which we'll probably stick two of here. And then we'll need cooks, cooking, whatever, f stoves, cooking stuff, I nearly said. Which gives you an idea of how branded I am right now. Uh, here, we'll probably have to do. It'll be grand, okay. Um, so James and maybe someone else, whoever, will be helping. So they'll take the meat, butcher it here, take it here, cook it, and put it somewhere else. So this will be the area for finished meals and stuff that you can eat raw, like strawberries, let's say. And then this will just be meat only. And yeah, we're actually doing quite a lot of work on these bedrooms. A lot of failed construction going on, but their skills will get better and it'll happen a lot less as time goes on, so it's fine could be worse um but yeah let's see next thing sculpt table hand tailor belt bench and stone cutter table they can all kind of wait simple research bench that's something we kind of want to get done now we'll see once they start claiming their beds has anyone started claiming these yet no they've only existed today so we'll see now tonight who was the first to steal a bed um so as, as you see these little bubbles, that's people interacting with each other socially. So let's see here. Let's pick um, Dylan, right? So character, character doesn't matter. Health is fine. Needs, right. So these are things, low expectations, which is good. New colony, optimism, joy filled. And then these are the things that are pissing them off. So slept outside, slept on the ground, ugly environment, uncomfortable and ate without a table. So yeah, a table could be a good thing to build next. Um, Anyway, what was I? I was actually looking for something here. Social. Social tab. So these are the people he has good relationships with. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I get I had to give them all a last name, so I just numbered you from one to ten. Uh, so yeah, so it's a good relationship with Jamie, Adam, Lee, Josh, Ronaldo, Scott, Rico, and then James and Siobhan, not a good relationship with. Uh, had a deep talk with Josh, deep talk with Adam, deep talk with Adam. And that's kind of that, let's see, was there something that pissed them off that made them not like the others, or? Not that I can tell, and I don't want to spend ages staring at that. But yeah, you'll, you'll notice, anyway, who hates each other and who doesn't hate each other. Um, but yeah, I think we should try and sort... Wait, actually, how, much, how are they getting on with cutting those trees? They were doing pretty well, actually, that's nearly done. I'll assign more of those. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's some meals up here as well that they can... Oh, there's loads of wood up here. Right, you'll be busy anyway. Josh and, was it Scott? Yeah, pretty busy. These are ship chunks, which you can deconstruct for, like, metal and slag chunks, which we can't do anything with right now. Are people going to sleep? Why are the people still up? Oh, I suppose, yeah. Okay, so who's claimed what? Adam has claimed the bed by the water. Next to Josh, next to Ronaldo, next to Siobhan, next to Jamie, next to Rico, next to Lee, next to James, next to Dylan. So the only person without a bed right now is Scott. I guess that's what he gets for having a job far away from the beds. But yeah, that'll be done tomorrow. They're doing, making good progress. Surprisingly good progress, actually. And... Oh, that wood is still disallowed for some reason. Yeah. So through the night, there's not a lot I can do, but I'll build some stuff. Uh, let's see here. Structure. Oh, no. Let's see. What do we need next? Joy, we're kind of... We're going to have to move this. We're going to build a central building. Probably here. Uh, then again, that stockpile will be there for a long time to come. So maybe here on this side of the farm. It's probably the best area. So this would be kind of like the, we'll call it like the the longhouse or something like that. Think of it as kind of this, well, maybe like a social hub sort of thing. Like a big house, big building I should say, not necessarily a house as such. Um, but yeah, doors, a door here, and a door here, that's even, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, I think. Nope, that's four. Great. But yeah, um, for this, I don't know if there's really any exact need for this. The way I usually do this game is where there's a big central room and all the rooms come away from that, like one big building. But for this one, I thought I'd do something different. Maybe, anyway, if people want to see it laid out in a different way, obviously, like one big central building with a load of rooms, then I can do that in the next series. But yeah, um, I'm going to reinstall so you can re reinstall at put that maybe like here I guess is that in the middle because I know this will drive people mad one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so there is a middle I think that is it by eyeballing uh, reinstall that what way is this chair going back to us and reinstall at facing the bench or the chest table yep yeah. nice okay and that's kind of that, so I'll speed through the night. To be honest, a lot of the time, maybe not this time, but a lot of the time I'll probably cut through the night when I've less stuff to kind of explain or talk about or to even do once I start, once places start getting built, basically. Um, but yeah, people are waking up now. Oh yeah, Josh went straight through the wall into Adam's room. See the, the red Z's that popped up there for a second are disturbed sleep, so I'll sew this back down now that people are actually getting up. But uh, yeah, so they all go eat breakfast. Lee is putting a roof on James's room while he's asleep, which is going to piss him off. Um, so yeah, the first things we'll have to do. I think what I want to do is build like a big wall across here, so we'll wall ourselves in other than like a gate. You have to have a gate because you want to come in and out, and also um, other people who visit will want to come and get actually get in. And plus, it's beneficial for us for them to get in. But also, then there's raiders and shit like that will also have access. So we'll see. Uh, this side of the map is only accessible through this cave, or not this cave. So this divides the map in half. If we wall that and wall that, this is the only way to us. So maybe we should just block that off altogether. Yeah, and maybe a few layers of wall, because they do eventually... Oh, more packaged meals, which is nice. They do eventually try to fucking bust in the walls with grenades and all sorts of other explosives. More caves, great. Is there more bugs? That's the thing. 
No, there's not, which is good. Then this mountain north of us separates the map as well. Oh my god, that's a lot of rock. Jesus, okay. So yeah, this this mountain divides us from the others. So maybe we should make these a trap for enemies. If we can mine that out and mine this out and then block all these, that'd be really cool to make them run the gauntlet through the bugs. And then the bugs, either the bugs will kill our invaders or the invaders will kill the bugs. And either of those things are pretty good for us. So that could be a plan. We could try that. That'd be interesting. And are we accessible from this side then? Got it. Yeah, we are. There's, plus, there's so much mountain above us that they're not really... No one's going to try and come to our colony from above. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, rooms are getting built and we kind of have a bit of a plan in place. We'll try and get shit kind of sorted first. See these rocks, they're a pain in the ass. I want them moved. And yeah, that's rooms getting done. Dylan and James continuing their job of growing stuff, which is handy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go off screen for a second and uh, do the zones, the stockpiles in the two back rooms there for the kitchen and probably, that's probably it to be honest, but yeah, I'll do that. See you in a sec. Okay, welcome back, or uh, I'm back, I should say. Um, yeah, I basically did the stockpile zones. The reason I cut that out is because it can be kind of fiddly, you have to like untake a load of boxes, I'll quickly show you here and it's kind of long and there's a bit more drop down menus too, menus too so uh, the reason it's pain in the ass because well not pain in the ass but the reason it can take a while is because you all, whatever you tick here you kind of have to untick from your original stockpile otherwise they'll just keep throwing it here as well and we kind of split so there's no point in doing that obviously uh, now that we have somewhere to keep meat we can start assigning Dylan and Adam things to hunt so I'll kind of do a quick explanation boars pretty dangerous emus it's pretty safe Alpacas alone, pretty safe. Oh shit! Yep, that's still in shooting. Though. I'm not away from that. And Adam. Uh, squirrels safe. Don't produce a lot of meat. Uh, those bugs. Rabbits safe. Uh, let's see what else is there here. Turkey safe. Ibex. Now these things. I've had a game where I was hunting these. Oh. Right, so this is a good example, good time. But I'll finish the thing with the Ibex. Basically, I've had a thing where these are in a big herd, start shooting at them, and they basically, like, nearly overran. They basically knocked everyone unconscious, and then they were happy, and they left. They were, like, banging in the doors. It was, like, a zombie scene, but they were big deer animal things, but they were pissed anyway. So, yeah, anyway. This little drop down here is what we'll get any time an event happens. So, first thing is a gray, so it's just, like, a not good, not bad, it's just normal. So these people, basically, a group of southwestern Hinbum popular, popular confederacy are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Okay, so jump to location, press play. Right, so there's only a couple of them. This question mark means that this is the person you need to talk to to trade. And this is where social can come in. Oh god, yeah, there's buffaloes here. These are basically a buffalo, more or less, but they like the cold. Um... Anyway, yeah, trading. This is where social comes in. The more, the better your social skill, the better the prices are. So we'll see seven and two flames, and I think Josh is eight and two flames. So Josh, you'll be doing the talking here. Uh, are you busy right now? Harvesting an oak tree. That can wait. Let's go trade with this guy. So yeah, that, a window will pop up when that happens anyway, so we don't really need to keep an eye on him. God, those guns are so loud. So we've got a couple of kills, I think. Dylan is going to have to finish off this emu. Point blank rage. So that gives you an idea of how much damage these uh, guns do as well. Rats, they're pretty good too for food. They're pretty easy kills. Leather and all that shit will be stored in here, I'd say. Um, making clothes and stuff like that. That'll fall on you, Siobhan. And yeah, that's that. So, I'm probably, actually, where's Josh with this... Uh, he is taking ages. Character. Hard working, but he's moving quite slowly. Oh, that's okay, they've kind of met us halfway anyway, so it's fine. Alright, Josh. Let's see what they have. Do we have our silver? Okay, so our silver has to be in our... Yeah, it is. We have our silver. Okay, our silver has to be in our um, storage for us to actually be worth anything. So we can buy survival meals components, which are pretty good. They're basically computer parts. 
medicine yayo, which is a drug. A fine white powder is snorted to produce a euphoric high. Yayo uh, reduces the user's need for rest and suppresses pain. However, it is addictive. So I basically avoid these because it's just not a good idea. But anyway, you can buy a cowboy hat. Do we want to do that? One cowboy hat for $86. I'm guessing that just means silver, but okay. We could buy medicine. How much does he have to sell? He has three. Right, so they don't have a lot of stuff with them. I guess there is only two of them. Usually, basically, a trade caravan will come along with loads of people and, like, you know, animals with bags on their backs and shit like that. Should we buy all their food? I wonder if they make it home. It's quite expensive, though. This red means it's expensive. Uh, I think buying the medicine is always a good bet. Why not? Like, yeah, let's buy the medicine. So we're going to give them 75 for three medicine, which isn't amazing, but it's good quality medicine. It's not just herbs tied together, which you'll see in a while once we run out of this, which will happen. But yeah, it's good to, good to get that. I think that's a good trade. Uh, Josh, couldn't you just fucking pick this up and get this to the tree after? Yeah, that's handy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably turn down the sound for the guns because it's pretty uh, obnoxious. Not the dog. Oh, oh, so once the dog is tamed, you can teach him to do other stuff like hauling and fighting and stuff like that, but this dog's a small dog, so I literally don't think they do anything. Uh, training. Yeah, so it once has been taught obedience. He can sign it to a master who it'll follow and defend. So who's his, his uh, bond to? Wait, training said... Master is Lee. Hmm. It should say responsibly friendly communication. Training needs help. It should say who they have a bond to. Oh, shit. Right, so. A rat is attacking after being harmed. Right, so yeah, rats can. and other animals can fight back. Neck, gunshot, revolver. Oh, yeah, this is the cool thing, too. When someone's injured, you can see why and how, and these. Blood drops or how much blood loss it's causing. Um, I'll probably go through some of the colonists in a minute and see if they have any old injuries. Usually like scars and stuff can affect. So you can see consciousness poor, moving poor, blah, 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 blah. That'll, that's pretty cool. A cool feature of the game anyway. I think Dylan heard it. It went to attack him and he managed to shoot it before it actually did any damage, which is good. Um, yeah, because a lot of the time like you'll be hunting something and... Ooh, that was pretty loud pretty shrill scream there from that uh, but yeah they're moving the food over which is nice to see Josh is going to cut down that fucking tree he has a boner for and yeah that's kind of that I'll haul these out as well see these rocks they don't they don't like having that in their room obviously which is fair enough but yeah they hauling so see the way this works here the stuff closest to here is what they'll do first so if I have Adam assigned to hunting and construction He'll always hunt first if there's things I've assigned to hunt. But if uh, I can actually change this to another thing, so see this. Yeah, this basically will mean that even if, if I set this to a, say a one, this to a one, and this is a two, it'll do the one first because it goes through here, looks for ones, through here, look for twos, through here, in this direction over, looks for threes, and that's the order it'll do. So eventually, I'll fix all this and do the ones to fours I think it goes but and then there's also empty boxes like this but yeah, obviously again that's not something that I want to do on the screen Rico is building a floor Lee is building a wall Siobhan is building a floor Jamie is bringing wood probably also to help a building Ronaldo is hauling blocks which is nice because everyone usually ignores that job those two are just waddling around there James probably growing I think everyone's going to bed now so I can hear gunshots like echoing through the canyon. There was I signed some stuff down here, so it's probably yeah. Dylan and Adam are down here slaughtering basically everything. But yeah, I'm I'm worried. I'm really worried about these because yeah, they've had another baby since then, and they will grow into this, and then this will grow into this. So yeah, it's pretty pretty bad, and they're really aggressive. Like it's, if they spot you, they'll attack you. It's really hard to shoot them when you're in these thin hallways like this. And, uh, yeah, it's basically a big pain in the dick. So, we'll have to come up with a plan with that. 
If anyone wants to comment some sort of a way, I'll give you kind of an overhead view. This is an entrance here. This comes down, but it is a dead end. A big webway here comes up. There's the, we'll call this the east. Yeah, east. Well, it took me a second there, sorry. <laughs> the east entrance, north entrance, and then like we'll call this west entrance. Um, yeah, I think the idea of like letting, blocking these off and blocking this off and letting, uh, what you call them, letting uh, our enemies basically go through this tiny funnel here, if we can break that, and then have to go all the way through here like that. These guys would fuck them up, and it would be really cool, I think. It would be pretty funny to watch as well. And it would mean any attacks coming from this side of the mountain, or east side, would be pretty well defended by like a natural, we'll call it a natural barrier. Yeah, so we could take advantage of that, but I don't know. Anyway, I think that's enough for this episode. Again, kind of just setting up. At the start, it can be slow. Not a huge amount of random encounters and stuff like that, because they're letting you kind of build up. But, yeah. This will get worse, so... Look forward to that. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and see you next time.